Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericaMuscle.com here with a review of this MBRP long tube header and mid pipe kit available for 2011 to 2014 GT Mustangs. In this video we're going to be looking at a few things in regards to this kit. We're going to talk about the materials and construction of the headers in the mid pipe and the install too. We'll talk more about this later, but I can tell you right now that long tube headers make for a difficult install, so I'm going to call this one a 3 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter. This kit from MBRP that includes long tube headers and a matching mid pipe are going to be a good option for someone looking for a natural finish catted long tube header for both performance and sound gains. This kit comes with their matching shorty mid pipe and makes way for continuing 3 inch cat back. If we start with the heart of this kit, we'll be looking at the headers. Long tube headers are going to offer both performance and sound gains, but the end result of your headers will depend on the rest of your setup. The runners on these particular headers are 1 and 7 eighths inch, which is slightly different than the 1 and 3 quarter inch offering. Traditionally, you see forced induction cars running a larger runner and NA cars running smaller runners, but I wouldn't really say that that's a hard and fast rule, especially with the Coyotes. So you don't have to have a blower to run a 1 and 7 eighths inch diameter, you just need to keep in mind your current mods and the goals that you have for your car when you're looking around, as well as what going with this size runner will do to your power band with the mods that you have. If you have some bolt-ons and you're still NA, you might see a hit on your low end torque, but once you spin the Coyote motor up, the larger diameter is going to help keep things moving, so what you're going to see are top end gains. Getting into the specifics here, these are a 304 stainless steel header that have a natural or a raw finish which is going to be different than a chrome or ceramic coated header. It obviously doesn't have the polished appearance that a chrome header would have, and while these do not have the ceramic coating either, they are made from that 304 stainless steel tubing, so you won't have to worry about corrosion. And not to mention, you do get to see beautiful welds since these have that raw finish. And this is mandrel bent tubing, which is going to help with smoother air delivery. The primary tubes that then merge down to a 3 inch collector, and MERP has these header flanges here that are laser cut, and they do that to prevent leaks and create a good fit. Then you have your mid pipe right here, which is an H pipe. Now typically speaking, we see H pipes producing more of a deeper sound than a louder sound, especially when we compare it to the sound of an X pipe. This mid pipe is a 3 inch mid pipe, so just keep that in mind. And if you guys didn't know already, when you change your header setup to a long tube setup, you also need to change your mid pipe to a shorty mid pipe in order to work with the long tubes. So it's nice that these are already paired for you, it takes the guesswork out of the equation. If we move on to price, as we all pretty much know, or you know if you've been shopping for long tubes, that they're pretty much going to be a solid investment. They're pricey and they're difficult to install. The option from MBRP, since they are a higher quality item that's more at the top of the food chain, are going to be on the more expensive side. The 1 and 7 8 inch option that we have here are going to be slightly more expensive, which isn't unusual to see. You do tend to see a larger runner size costing more than a smaller runner size, but not usually by very much at all. You're looking at spending between $1,300 and $1,400 for this kit, which does give you a little bit of price break than if you were to buy these pieces individually. So this does sound pricey initially, but do keep in mind that you won't need to buy your shorty mid pipe since it's already in the kit. And this is why I call long tube headers an investment earlier. You do have to keep in mind all the benefits and power that you'll be getting from this setup. And to put things in perspective, it's not just MBRP that's going to be expensive. You're going to be looking at headers costing over $1,000 anyway. As for the install on this one, long tubes are always going to be a difficult install. I don't say this often, but if you don't have a helping hand or you don't have much experience, it might be better to just take the car to a shop for the install. If you do tackle this yourself, it's going to be a full 3 out of 3 wrenches on the scale and a day in the garage, especially considering that you're going to be installing this mid pipe with these headers. You can do this on a jack and stands, but a lift would make it easier for sure. You're going to need your toolbox for this one with an assortment of different sockets, wrenches, and extensions. You're looking at things like disconnecting the steering shaft, dropping the starter, and removing a motor mount. A lot of this install obviously requires working in some pretty tight areas, so while everything is straightforward, getting access and maneuverability in these areas is actually tricky, which is why you need to pull a motor mount on one side, so you can raise the motor slightly with a jack to give you a little bit more room. And having a helping hand in this case is really going to benefit you, but a day of wrestling and some pretty pennies spent on these mods is totally worth it in my opinion. So wrapping things up with the MBRP long tube catted headers, these are 304 stainless steel headers that come with a matching H pipe for a mid pipe and both pieces are 3 inch. The headers have 1 and 7 8 inch runners and as usual you can check them out more online for yourself right here at AmericanMuscle.com.